you know, every year I do the the um, book bag drop every year. So I really don't want to miss out this year on doing that because now I feel like I've been doing it for so long and it's like six years I, I've did it straight. So I definitely want that back on the map soon as everything get back to a little bit of normalcy. But hopefully kids are going back to school so that we can even do that. Because if you, you know, doing virtual schooling, then we might not even have to do that anymore. But I really, that's like one of my top priorities and that's what I really enjoy most. But I'm not sure you know that last January, we also did a coat drive. Okay. Right? I think, I think the pictures are on um, Facebook, but we also did a coat drive and we gave away maybe like 80 coats. And that was very successful. And we did that at the garden as well. That's awesome. So those are the types of things that I like to do. And barbecues draw people in and, you know, people come in and they enjoy themselves and have a meal. And, you know, and I, I like to do that for people too. With the code drive and the book bag giveaways, like how, how, can you tell me more about those? How do you set those up? Like, or is that something you do on your own? With the code drive, I definitely did that on my own. And with the book bag drive, um, for like five years straight, we had Fidelis helping us. But last year we did that straight out of our own pockets and it still worked out. I have pictures of that and all the book bags that we have. We still had maybe about 150 book bags to give away last year. And we had no Fidelis to help us, but we still did it. And we had um, notebooks, pens, pencils, rulers, everything to go inside the book bags. We did all of that. So basically we try to do as much as we can ourselves. If people want to donate, then we appreciate that too. Cool. Yeah, I hope we can do something like that again uh, this year. I mean, uh, like, like you said, I mean, kids would have to go to school. <laughs> Schools would have to open back up, but um, I'm, I'm optimistic, right. hopefully. Yeah, you say you never garden before. Yeah, so yeah. when we having a meeting, you just take one plant and you get yourself a little corner right there <laughs> and put it right in one of those bins and plant yourself something. So then yeah. that means the next month when we have the next meeting, you come and you visit your plant. Okay, okay. Start it, you off like that. In between <laughs> the garden meetings, is, is someone going to water it for me? <laughs> I will. Okay. I'm the one offering, so I'll do it. Okay, I, I'll hold you to that then. I'm going to start gardening at Madison Street. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Actually, I would just like to say thank you, because I, if it wasn't for like NYRP, I probably would not be, you know, doing this.